When you think of Christianity and Rome, the Vatican is what springs to mind. The home of popes and the colonnaded square that welcomes visitors into the massive marbled St. Peter's Basilica at its core. Vatican serves as a pilgrimage spot for Christians who also boasts its heritage tourism. And now the public can access some 10 rooms in the Lateran Palace guided by nuns from the Order of Missionaries of Divine Revelation Nuns. The rooms include a dining room, library, bedroom, and a private chapel where two golden shrines surmounted by ancient tapestry stand near the altar. The palace is part of the Basilica of San Giovanni in Laterano. The building is associated with the Roman Emperor Constantine, who is credited with stopping persecutions against Christians by allowing them to practice their religion. The palace was the official residence of the popes until the papacy moved to Avignon at the start of the 1300s. Oddly, while the site was home to popes up until the 14th century, the current palace has never been a papal residence. After the return from Avignon in 1377, popes lived at the Vatican or in other church properties around Rome. Seen here is the throne room where meetings with the pope would be held. The lavish golden throne is surmounted by the papal coat of arms and embellished with decorations, showing a personification of the glory portrayed in the middle of the ceiling and encircled by the representation of the Four Seasons. In the room of the pontiffs lie the Lateran Pax, signed in 1929, which aimed at recognizing the Vatican City as an independent state after the Italian unification. Preserved under a glass case, the packs show the signatures of Cardinal Pietro Gaspari, Secretary of State for Pope Pius IX representing the Holy See, and of Benito Mussolini, then head of the Italian government. The treaty meant the Holy See and Italy recognized each other as sovereign entities, thus ending decades of antagonism in which the popes refused to recognize the newly unified Italy and called themselves prisoners inside the Vatican walls. Meanwhile, the opening of the rooms follows a request from Pope Francis, who signs all papal documents in the Lateran Palace as a symbol of connection with the past and with his predecessors. At the end of the tour, a monumental staircase leads directly to the Basilica of San Giovanni in Laterano.